What's up guys, Headphones Neil here with a quick review on how to play the game Wordle that's been on the internet for a couple of weeks now. So I keep seeing and getting notifications about how there's um, apps on the various app stores to play the game or people don't know how to find it or where to play it. So I thought I would share a quick how-to on getting a shortcut, where to find the app game and how to play it and all of that good stuff. So as I mentioned, the game is not available in the Google Play Store for Android or the Apple iOS Store for um, iPhones and iPads and things like that. So what you're going to do to get to the game is open your browser of choice, do a quick search for Wordle, so W-O-R-D-L, and hit enter. The website that you are going to visit is this first one called powerlanguage.co.uk slash Wordle. So when you click on it, you'll be uh, presented with the page. You'll, if it's the first time visiting the page, you'll get a quick how-to on how to play the game. So you can close the game. Um, the short of it is if a, you pick a word and the letter is grayed out, that means it's not available. If you get yellow or gold, that means it's in the word but in the wrong place. If it's green, that means it's in the word and in the right place. So the first thing to do from here is you can either bookmark the site by hitting your overflow menu and um, adding it to your bookmark up here at the top, or you can hit install. So you'll be able to add a shortcut to the website to your home screen. So you can do add automatically. It'll bump it off to a new page. But if you have a spot in your current um, home screen, you can just hold down on the icon and drag it to wherever you want. So now I have a shortcut to Wordle, like you see at the bottom in this first row. So what you're going to do, and because I have not, um, well, because I have completed today's Wordle, I'm going to go through um, the game right now to um, just show you kind of how it looks as far as um, the various characters. So what you'll do is you'll guess a word. So um, for I'm going to guess Spore. Um, and hit enter so you'll get a nice little animation none of these letters or all these letters are grayed out so they're all not in the word at all so I'm gonna guess another word so I'll say uh, tight and we now know that the letter H is in the word but it's in the wrong place but the other letters are not there so I can now move on the keyboard at the bottom grays out and becomes a darker gray so you know um, that those uh, letters are not available. So from here, I'm going to have to pick another word that um, is possibly the correct one. So um, let's do, uh, and it's hard to say, say from here what a correct word would be. So let's say um, there's no, I, so I was going to guess hints, but there's no hints, so H-A-N-D-Y. Uh, Let's give that a shot. So now we know that the letters H and A are in the word, but they're still in the wrong place. But because we know that the letter H is not in the first spot or in the fourth spot, it's going to be in the second, third, or last spot. So from here... Um, we can start to guess a little bit. So I'm gonna uh, pause speaking just to think of another word. Um, So I know that P is not in the word, but 
that's I just needed a way to move on to start guessing another word. So now that we know that H and A are in the right place are in the right place, we don't have to move those, but we now know that the C is also in the word, but in the wrong place. So now we can we have to guess a word that it has H A C or ends it has um, H A C or H A space E. Um, so we can do for example W H A um, let's say C K and we'll do enter and we are now all set whack is the word for the day you'll as if you have your browser history turned on for your mobile device or on your desktop computer depending on where you play it you'll get also a continued streak of how many times you've played how many you've won your current streak and your max streak so if you play if you end up not guessing the word for the day that'll affect your score and then from here you can share it um, for example to Twitter Facebook via your social media app whether it's WhatsApp or uh, Facebook Messenger or text message whatever it is there so you can share your results with your uh, family, friends, and followers, and whatever you want to do from there. So that's basically the long and short of the game. Um, so like I mentioned, the thing to remember is as of this recording, it is not available in the Google Play Store or the Apple iOS Store. So you do have to visit the website and then um, make sure you do hit your overflow menu and either do add to home screen or install depending on what your menu says so you can get that shortcut on your home screen. Um, a nifty little thing about the game as well is that there is a hard mode uh, where um, they'll turn off, I believe it turns off the hints for guessing the wrong letter so you do have to keep um, track of it yourself so I'll give it a shot for one of them right now. Um, oh, I guess it um, revealed. So I guess it doesn't tell, or it does gray out the ones that um, that you do. Oh, well, that's not obviously the right thing. So let's say. So um, I guess in the hard mode they. If you have a letter, you have to use the letters in your next guess. They don't let you move on with the wrong guess. So kind of a forced way to guess the right word. Um, and then there's a dark theme or a light theme. Um, and then colorblind mode if you want a more high contrast version of the game, which actually I kind of like that. So um, let's see how this looks. So I guess it's a little bit easier to see the letters in orange instead of green and gray or whatever. So. Um, that's really all there is for this, so um, hopefully you've been enjoying the games, and if you want to um, check out my world um, guesses and all that as I play along and how many tries it takes me, I've been sharing them to Twitter uh, at uh, PatelN01, and you can subscribe to this post, or if you have any questions or anything like that about the game, you can comment on this post on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. But that's all there is for this particular review and how-to, and until next time.